Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. In this video, we will learn about the another utility category operator that is delay. So what is this delay operator? So delay operator as the name itself suggests that it delays the values from the source observable. So that means it delays, it delays the values that are coming from the source observable to a particular period of time. So what the time can be mentioned using the milliseconds or per a uh, given date also you, give, you can give the date timestamp also. Now if you try to see the definition of this delay, delays the emission of items from the source observable by a given timeout until a given date. Okay, So for a, for a particular timeout or otherwise until a given date. So de uh, delays the items from the source observable. Here if you try to take the parameters, so it will take the due date. So that is nothing but a number which can be given the milliseconds and also or date. Or an another second parameter is optional one that is a scheduler. So you know that scheduler thing also. Now if you try to see the marble diagram for this one, the, it is a, so there is a source observable which is emitting the values A and B and it is completed. Now if you pass this uh, source observable to the delay operator, so which has a 20 milliseconds. Now the whatever the values that are coming from here, so it will be delayed by 20 milliseconds. So A, A is the emitted here, when it is passed through the delay of 20 milliseconds means then it will be pass, uh, then it will be delayed with the 20 milliseconds in the same scenario B also complete also. So all the values that are coming from the source observable will be delayed with 20 milliseconds. So this is the delay operator. Delay operator. So when the delay argument is number, this operator time shifts the source observable by the time, by that uh, by that amount of time expressed in milliseconds or relative time intervals between the values are present. If the delay delay argument is date means then to the uh, it will it will be shifted to the particular given date. Now let us try to see the practical implementation. I will show you the delay operator, how it will work. Now here if you try to see, I am creating delay operator here and in this operators.html, I will try to add it. So here I will be using delay and here also I will be using the delay and in this app routing, I will be adding the delay component. So here you will be having a delay and here also I will be adding delay okay sorry delay right delay delay operator component now if i try to see yeah let's go to the delay operator component now i am closing this one so let's open delay operator component and here let's assume that we have a source observable let source is equal to of 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 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 so these are the values we are having observable and now what i can do is so source dollar dot subscribe of data and if I console dot log this one okay now if I try to see the output let us open this one and let us go to the operators and here in this delay if I do this one 1 2 3 4 right see we are able to see 1 2 3 4 emitted immediately now if I pass if I use this one delay so I want to uh, emit those values after a particular uh, time period after 2 seconds let us assume so I can do something like 2000 so I can use this delay operator okay now if you try to see the output what will happen let us try to see now here the values are not printed immediately after 2 seconds the values are getting printed so this is the what this is what the delay operator does so delay operator delays the values that are emitted by the source observable. So now here 1, 2, 3, 4, so the values that are not emitted immediately after 2 seconds it starts emitting the values. So this is about the delay operator. Now you may be getting a doubt that each value should be emitted for after 2 seconds. So that means 1, 1 should be emitted after 2 seconds, then after 2 should be emitted after 2 seconds, 3 should be emitted after 2 seconds like that. So each value should be emitted after 2 seconds like interval. So what I need to do? So here what it is doing is delay operator is delaying the source observable completely. So now here the source observable is completely delaying to 2 seconds then afterwards it is emitting all the values. So that means it is pausing the source observable to emit the data. After 2 seconds it is allowing it is executing the normally how it has executed 2 minutes before, 2 seconds before. Now if you want to uh, delay each value in the source observable means so what we can do is so we can use something like uh, we can use the concat map ok so concat map so you will get the value for this one and you can convert this one to an higher order observable and for this one you can use the delay operator ok so delay operator of 1000 or 2000 whatever the thing you want you can mention 
so like this you need to mention so now here each value in the source observable will be delayed by 2 seconds if you try to see the output now let us try to refresh so it is refreshing now here if you try to see each 2 seconds value will be emitted so 1 now again 2 3 so for each 2 seconds the value is getting emitted so this is how we will be now what I can say em, uh, delay the each value in the source observable so but if you want to completely delay all the all the values in the source observable means so you can use directly the delay operator so many people will be getting confused of this delay operator in this scenario only so what they will be thinking the what they, what they will be thinking is so they will be applying something like 2000 here and they will be thinking that each value will be delayed by 2 seconds but here that that will that is not the case what will happen the entire source observable emitting value will be delayed for 2 seconds and then after it will execute normally so it, you can stop for 2 seconds and afterward it will execute so that is about the delay operator hope you understood about this delay operator so if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you